It's night and day. Hello everyone, I'm Robert Knight. And I'm Travis Day. And this time, we're here to play Mortal Kombat 11 for you. Yes, we are back. Well, we're in the world of Mortal Kombat. The 11th version of it. Uh, this is going to be interesting. The same people that made Injustice, and I loved that game. And I also loved Mortal Kombat 2. So this should be, uh, this should be fun to catch up on. Well, this will be a lot uh, more graphic, <laughs> up close and personal than 2. Yeah. And yeah. a lot more bloodier and <laughs> with a lot more gore than Injustice, <laughs> Injustice 2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if you wanted to see the PG version, you'll have to wait for Injustice 3. Right. And if you're easily <laughs> grossed out, right. this isn't the game for you. So, you guys can <laughs> join us on this adventure and see if Travis vomits all over me <laughs> as we go. <laughs> That's not out of the cards. So, uh, stick around maybe. <laughs> maybe that'll uh that'll fulfill your wishes there. All right, not mine, but let's jump into the story. <laughs> yeah, let's hop on in. Shinnok, is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. <laughs> oh, Raiden, not even you can kill an Elder God. There are fates worse than death. serve as warning and an emblem of my wrath. This was not your destination, Ark. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. 
The arc of the universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. So she apparently. Alright, that was pretty badass. Yeah, wow. Alright. Raiden is not here to play, apparently. As you were. For 25 years, the special forces have been Earth Realms, sword and shield. We've pushed back Shao Kahn, defeated Shinnok, yet none of our victories have come without cost. Recently, Commander Jackson Briggs was honorably discharged. His wounds, both physical and psychological, left him no longer fit to serve. We honor Jackie's father, and we honor his sacrifice by doing what he would do. Tirelessly defend Earthrealm. Sergeant Cage, step forward. Your leadership and warfighting ability have earned you promotion to commander. But there are no family favors here. By special forces tradition, you still have to pass one last test. I need to kick the CO's ass, ma'am. Your ass, ma'am. All right then, Sergeant. Let's see if you can take me. All right, first battle. Oh, wow. Sergeant. So it looks like in this game, you start out with Cassie, <laughs> with Cassie Cage in her chapter, even though in the previous game, she was the final chapter. Wow. She was the one who punched, punched Shinnok until he died. <laughs> All right, so starting out with Cassie, as apparently the <laughs> in order to get a promotion in these special forces, <laughs> you need to beat the crap out of Sonya beat out. or your commanding officer. Isn't that? Oh, so that scene oh, that they wow. opened with was kind of it was a cool scene. It was a it showed before the teaser scene at the very end of of MK10. Because in MK10 at the very end, Cassie beats the crap out of Shinna. Oh, crap! Are you oh. <laughs> That's your daughter! Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> don't get a promotion! <laughs> I love how quickly I just got up from that. Yeah, that was always the weird thing about x-rays in this thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, here's an x-ray right here. <laughs> here you go, you're welcome. Oh. oh, that wasn't an extra. Okay. Wow, Oof. Sonya. Relax. This is your daughter, for God's sakes. You were winning too until she decided to actually right, yeah. murder her own daughter <laughs> in the training exercise. <laughs> oh. I love that they were just cheering that on the whole time. Ooh. Yeah, she knows better combos than you. Oh, so, so it seems. The computer knows better than we do in a game that we never played. <laughs> there we there go. We are. So oh. yeah, at the very end of that game, Cassie fights Shinnok. And we're definitely gonna give spoilers for Yeah, you know, for sure. MK ten and potentially other MK games as we play. But yeah, Cassie beats Shinnok. Cassie glows green with the magical force of like the cage mystic power that they haven't fully explained yet. Oh my god! That was so cool. Oh, the interactions in this god. game are a little bit <laughs> crazy. It seems a bit excessive. That's cool though to take it to a new level and differentiate it from Injustice. Yeah, that in is it, true. In MK10 it was pretty much the exact same thing as Injustice where mm. it's like a quick thing that you pick up and throw at somebody. It's just a little bit more uh, intensive in this game I guess. Yeah, so they had Cassie beat Shinnok, and then after that, they had a teaser scene at the very, very end where Raiden was corrupted by this. Commander Cage, reporting for duty. Oh. 
Congratulations, Commander. Come on, Dad. You really have to go? Well, you've got your duty, Commander, and I got mine. Starring in yet another Ninja Mime sequel isn't what I'd call duty. I need to provide for you in the manner to which you've become accustomed. Jeez, guys, I'm right here. General Blade, Cassandra Cage. What is it, Raiden? The Nether Realm. We should open a dialogue. Maybe there's an explanation. Liu Kang and Katana were friends once. They are irreparably polluted by Shinnok's evil. They are no longer the champions we once knew. We must strike them preemptively. It's about time we brought the fight to them. What's the target? Buried deep beneath Liu Kang and Katana's castle is the Cathedral of Shinnok, the seat of their power. Destroy it, and their undead army will fall, removing its threat to Earthrealm. Aren't your powers weaker in the Netherrealm? Yes, but I will have sufficient strength to occupy the undead army. That'll buy us enough time to infiltrate the Cathedral, destroy it from the inside. We get pinned down in there, there's no way out. To ensure Earthrealm's survival, we must all be willing to sacrifice. Uh, you know, it's been two years too much of your grim and gritty makeover droning on about sacrifice. You don't have a family to lose. I know loss, Johnny Cage. Raiden's right, Johnny. We're not ready for another war. We've got to take out Netherrealm's army now, before Liu Kang can bring it here. in position. Hope Raiden's planned one hell of a diversion. Withdraw, or feel the wrath of Earthrealm's protector!
Raiden get this far? Eliminate him. That burn victim's cabal? Wasn't he Kano's goon back in the day? Don't let the scars fool you. He's fast. Take out him and Jade. I'll go downstairs and set the C4. Roger that. Oh, so Cabal is the second second uh, enemy here. So it looks like, yeah, I was trying to say at the end of the previous cutscene, Cabal still has a spinner yeah. move. So, yeah, at the very end of the previous game, they showed a teaser scene where Raiden had been corrupted by the Jinsei, I think that's what it was, like the spiritual stream of power of the Elder Gods. At a point in Mortal Kombat 11, he went in that to, like, heal himself, but then Shinnok came and... Um, kind of beat him down or captured Raiden in this giant skeletal hand thing and trapped him. And she not corrupted the Jinsei weird mysticism magic light stream and then turned from blue to red. And then at the very end, Raiden comes and he tries to purify it. And he goes into the stream again on his own, even though it's fully corrupted. <laughs> okay, oh, come wow. on, we get it. You like spinning. Oh, and my. then... Um, Raiden successfully. Oh, sweet! You got to pull it off. <laughs> nice. What? You didn't need those kneecaps. Oh my god. Good luck, buddy boy. <laughs> so, yeah, Raiden right. successfully purified the Jinsei. It went from being red back to being blue again. But after, at the very end, Raiden had red eyes. So you saw that he had been corrupted by it. Mm, so, even right. though. He had purified it himself. The corruption went inside Raiden. And then there was a teaser scene at the very end where he approaches Liu Kang and Kitana, who are now the de facto rulers of the, the Nether Realm, mm -hmm. kind of like the underworld, the land of the dead. Oh, man, the interactables. I really like the change they've made to those. But yeah, so he, he brings them Shinnok's decapitated head in that mm. teaser scene, and he's like, hey, yeah, you can't kill an Elder God, but there are worse things than death. And Shinnok's head is just there, like he can't talk or think or anything. He's just like, oh. like he's in some horrible sit. Damn! Oh, that oh was so God. vicious. That was so vicious. So yeah, he's in this state worse than death, and he just throws it at their feet. Mm -hmm. You lose as fast as you run. Jackie, where's Jade? She bailed. Getting help, I'm sure. General, how we doing? Need ten minutes. The support columns are further apart than expected. You need help? Negative. Just watch our back. Ten more minutes. We need it to be taillights in five. Well, we're in the shit now. We have extra C4, yeah? Yeah, why? Let's buy ourselves time.
Lock and load. Empress of the Dead. I've not forgotten our last encounter at the Sky Temple. How are your scars healing? Fight. Yeah, so he thro Raiden throws this decapitated head of Shinar down at their feet and basically says, Don't F with Earthrealm ever again. Anybody <laughs> who does from now on won't be shown any mercy. We're just done just purely defending ourselves. So it huh. shows, like, now he's corrupted, he's not gonna just play the hero anymore. Right. The rules of no killing are over. And they continue that right here, where he's like, instantly, no, just, let's go on the offensive. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, just immediately attack and destroy. Yeah, so that's even... Oh, there was Katana's Molina move. Huh. Like, she did the teleport dropkick through the bottom of the floor. Oh, right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, brutal. My god. Oh, sweet. There we go. Oh, it took off the mask and everything. Sweet. Nice. Sweet. Never gonna get tired of that. See how Liu Kang and Katana became the rulers of Nether. Oh, god. <laughs> And then she just gets right back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, right back up like nothing happened. Yeah, they became the rulers of Netherrealm because they were taken over when they died in Mortal Kombat 9. They were brought back by um, Quan Chi, I think. And then they served him until he died in 10. And then they served Shinnok. Shinnok and Quan Chi were like the rulers of Netherrealm, basically. Mm -hmm. And now they sort of rule it on their own because they were the chief zombies, I guess, at the time, but they were always kind of enslaved to the others. Huh. So it'll be interesting to see what they do now that they are fully autonomous with their own free will, or how much free will they have. Right. Because It'll be cool to see which way the story takes it, because they could still they could go either they way. They could go either which route on that. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Huh. Sweet. Cassandra Cage. How the Chosen One has fallen. Raiden's right. Whatever Shinnok did to you, you're a lost cause. Fight! This is a, a really intimidating fight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in this game, Sonya is now voiced by Ronda Rousey. Really? Huh. 
and they changed her face for, oh, to be similar. Yeah, the animation for right. capture and all that. Huh. But yeah. Oh, wow, so she sounds great. like uh, she's a little bit rough around the edges in terms of voice the acting. Voice acting yeah. yeah, she's kind of new to it. I guess we'll see overall how she does. Right, yeah. That's... <laughs> Eat it, nerd. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, oh man. I figured I'd just give you that right off the bat there. Yeah, I kind of liked how they changed the x-ray moves in this game to the death blow moves where you could only do it when the enemy has 30% HP or less. I Because it was so fake when somebody got up from an attack that blue. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that for sure. <laughs> so it was like, oh, that's a good improvement. Yeah. <laughs> but then, now they just have these stage interactions that are almost, like, they're still, they're not that brutal, but they're a single shot that's that level of, of damaging that people can just get up from. So it's still like, oh, okay. Well, they made the improvement for realism in one direction, and right. then they just and took, they took it, it right away back. from the other one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice finish. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't think to... that we can do fatalities in the story mode, so this is going to be the best way it's to finish the fight. The, yeah, that's true. It's going to be the most cinematic ending to all of the fight, yeah. I guess. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God, Cass, and I'm not gonna make it. What? I'm not leaving you behind. Get your team home. That's an order. Your duty. Mine's to finish the mission. Mom, no, we can save you. I love you, Cass. Give your dad a kiss for me. Mom, no, don't! Mom? Mom! She started the detonation sequence. Override it, Jackie! There is no override. Commander! <sighs> Our orders are to leave. Back. How did the mission go? Yeah, that was kind of cool how it, like, burned her a little bit. Oh, there we go. Nice! Finally got it. 
<laughs> Just leave that there for safekeeping. <laughs>